The following episode is intended for mature audiences and contains adult content, graphic language, and graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. You've been warned, just like last time, whether you now choose to watch this or not is completely in your hands and I'm no longer responsible. Just like that time I decided drinking a bottle of Uzo was a responsible idea. Woke up the next day, hung over as hell to find out the dog had pissed all over me. Anyway, there's definitely going to be some gator getting in this episode. So if you've got children watching, my advice is to hold them closer to the screen so they can see the action better. We take to land and eat our first humans and they're fucking delicious. Have you ever tried human meat? If so, that's cannibalism. And you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. I would have thought you bastards would have learnt that this is my territory now. Oh, hi guys. Didn't see you there. This is our shark Zero. I'm just getting myself a little bit of a lunchtime, you know, mid-afternoon snack, if you will. Just swimming around the bayou, checking places out. But we've got to go to the grotto. Oh! Oh! Oh, that tingled a little bit. Is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. Oh, we can tail whip. Let's get out of here and do that. Come here, Mr. Turtle. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. The field goal is good, baby! So I'm now a teenage dirtbag. Baby, dirt bag of the bayou. We're going to go to Horse Lake Grotto. Looks like we're getting all. Oh. Before we do that, get here, you bastard! Made me look like an absolute chump in the first installment. Not today. Not today, I've had enough. I'm a teenager now. You gotta deal with that shit. You gotta deal with my angst as well as my brutal force. Get in. You big scaly bitch. You're trying to tail whip me, are ya? Trying to get- Oh, there's another alligator over there. You might have to steer clear in. Ladies and gentlemen. I think we're about to uh, finish off our first gator. We're getting us some gator getting today, ladies and gentlemen. He's missing his legs. He's straight up some cripple in this bitch. Nice try with the tail whip. Oh, we got him. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Mm-mm-mm! Gator is delicious! I wasn't gonna mess with him, but um... There's another hunted alligator and we're gonna, we're gonna mess him up. Take down one, why not take down all? Because I am the apex in this bayou now! Come on, bitch! Cop the turtle! Oh, hell yeah! See, I love that! That is awesome! You gotta use everything to your advantage, ladies and gentlemen, and if that means grabbing a turtle in your mouth and tail whipping the fuck out of that bitch, you do it! Gotcha! Oh, whoa, 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 we don't want to mess with that alligator, come on! How many of these bastards are swimming around in here? The bull shark is an opportunistic feeder and a solitary hunter. I got no problem taking on this hunted gator, but god damn, all these other bastards want to start fishing around as well. That's not the one we want to mess with. 
We want you, you big bastard. Let's go! Doesn't pack much of a punch for one that's supposed to be high in demand and hunted. We need you. Need another turtle. Come on, bitch! You're going down today. You going down today? Got nothing on me. He's missing an arm. He's going down quick. Ow! Come on, you scaled turd burglar. Let's get it done. What are you gonna do with no legs? What are you gonna do with no legs? Ow! That's what he's gonna do with no legs. Oof! Oh, 10 out of 10 for the backflip, and we did it! Oh, ho, ho! The Bayou is officially on notice. Ah, Shark Zira is the new apex up in this bitch. Who wants some? Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, it is time to make our way to a new location. Because teenage R Shark Zero, he's uh wanting to break out a little bit. Sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a super fun site in 1996. Check this out. Got like a sunken submarine or something up in this bitch. I really love the attention to detail. Whoa, what's going on over here? About to get some special powers. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be in there. I think that might be radioactive. At any rate, let's get over to our new grotto and see what they've got to offer over here in way of housing. Because I'm a bigger shark now, and housing in the bayou isn't isn't big enough. It's time to move on up, move on out. I'll take this though. Thank you. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. I can tell you what's in my stomach right now. There's plenty of alligator. <laughs> they don't know what hit them. They're probably lucky that I'm out of the bayou right now. But have a look what we've got over here. We've got the barracuda. Looks like we've found uh, what's going to be giving us the most trouble up in Dead Horse Lake. I'll get ya. Like, ooch, Barracuda. Oh, sorry, I had to. If it's there, you gotta do it. Come on. I like me some Cooter. Oh. Barracuda on the menu, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We've got to find this grotto because uh, carrying these bags around. They're there, I promise you. Come on. Come on, Shark Zero. It's not hard, Shark Zero, it's right there. Shark, Shark Zero, you got one job. Let's do it. Yep. Good enough. Maybe a four for execution, but we did it. There's plenty of catfish up in here, though. Some of my favorite munchables. Alright, let's get on down deep. Found it! Time to get on down in our new grotto. Quite Have a look. The ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her Perfect place for a teenage shark to hang out. This is what I call home sweet home, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hungry again. But I've got a certain hunger, and it's for some groupers. And I've heard the groupers like to group up on down in the sewers. Really? I sees yous in there. You alligator bastards, come on. You're going to try to stop me from getting my groupers, aren't you? 
I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to flex my fins, aren't I? I'm gonna have to show some dominance again, aren't I? That that's alright. When will the alligators learn? They're a daft species. By daft I mean incredibly fucking stupid. They're dealing with a shark that's got enough on their plate already. I'm a teenager now. I've got fins growing in places that I never had fins before. I'm waking up with weird stains in the grotto that weren't there before I went to sleep. And now I'm getting double teamed by a pair of alligators in a dark, very dank tight space. Not today. They want some? I gotta go back for the groupers. So indirectly they're gonna get some. Come on you big bitch! No mess at all, shit! It's gonna turn around. And now we get the sneak attack going. Come on! One more grouper. <laughs> and now we're gonna have some dessert on the side ladies and gentlemen I think a little bit of gator on the side would go well with some grouper it's uh, commonly known in the underwater world that gator and grouper go together very well come on gator boy not so strong without your legs are ya ho oh! Oh, I've just turned into a one-shark gator-wrecking machine. I hope I don't get vicious diarrhea from all this gator I'm eating. That's all I'm trying to say. What's that? That's a swear jar. Every time someone swears, you put a quarter in it. Who gets the money? I don't know. We'll use it to buy something for the office, like a case of Bud Light or something. Awesome. F you, Bob. <laughs> F you, Jim. Eric, I have a bag in line three for you. Can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow your fing pen? Will the owner of a white station wagon please go f yourself? We're gonna go down there and we're gonna f some. F we're gonna f some. F we're gonna do whatever we have to because we're gonna f some. F Poop. Doesn't count. Shut the f up! I am so proud of you mother suckers. Here, here. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always f***ing worth it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a bit of a problem. All this gator as beautifully delicious as it's been. I'm a big boy now. I'm a bigger shark. I have different needs. And that includes having to eat something a little bit different. Something I haven't had a taste for yet. Well, we've had a little bit of a taste. You could say we've had a handful. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, if you've seen the first episode, you'll get what I mean. But we're going to be eating some humans up in this bitch now. Because if we're going to start flexing our fins and show true dominance, the humans need to know that they might have some legs. They might be able to walk around on land, but they're nothing but a food source to us sharks. And if the appetizer I just had fresh off that boat is anything to go by, I'm in for a treat. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm heading to the pier because not only have I heard they like to throw down with parties, but it looks like an all-you-can-eat buffet to me. Come on, Shark Zero, you can do this. Make your way up the pier. Make your way up the pier. Good boy. Come on, bitch. Guys, come back. Guys. Yes. Yes. Mm. Guys, please. Please. 
You saved me a lot of trouble if you didn't run away. They're just going to keep running, aren't they? Look, it's okay, guys, because I'll find a way. I told you I'd find a way! I'm going to get you. I'm going to hop over and get you, you bastard! It's a lot of effort. But fuck, they're tasty. They love hanging up on that pier where I can't get them, though. They're smarter than I thought they were, humans. But that's okay. We'll leave the ones on top of the pier be. Because the ones that are having a party down on the beach... They've got no pier to hide on. They've got nowhere to go. What's up, guys? I'm here for the barbecue! Shark hunters stalk their prey, fully aware of course the shark the hunters are coming. Because a man can't have a meal in peace anymore! Don't go anywhere! No, 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 don't go anywhere! You want to mess around? Come on! Interrupt my meal. But hunters do, uh, do taste a lot better. Because they make you work for your meal. The meat's more tenderized. But I'm still going to have myself a beach buffet. Come here, bitch. And now you hunters. You want to keep messing uh, about? Blink to get a decent Cesarec, but don't have me on there. Do not serve me. Oh, by you, Willie. I welcome the challenge. I've already taken down one big bitch in the bayou. The scourge of the swampland. Bayou Willie. Oh, <laughs> it is my experience, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, head honchos like this. Taste infinitely better. So I'm going to take your driver, build the anticipation, and then just when he doesn't suspect it, bang! Let's take him down. Let's marinate him in the ocean's waters. Goodbye, bye, you Willie. These hunters just keep coming day and night. Oh, oh, Bobby Bojangles. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. Bobby Bojangles, get over here because I want to nibble those ankles, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Bobby. She's got a bit of extra meat about her as well. Shark Zero is going to be eating good today. You ain't going anywhere, Bobby. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna take your friend first. Bobby Bojangles is all alone, and then I strike. The marine predator displays little caution. And we're gonna marinate her a little bit as well. Come on, Bobby. Oh, what a meal! What a meal! These hunters want to keep coming at me. I'll keep ripping them to shreds. I have a taste for blood. Well, well, well. If I haven't caught the attention of an apex predator. Our first apex we've stumbled across nonetheless. We have to go into another area to locate it. But, we're about to run into the supposed Big Bad Apex Barracuda. Doesn't like that I've been flexing my fins up in Dead Horse Lake. Well, i got something to say to them. Where you at? The Needle Tooth Nightmare. The Barracuda. Uh, you've been infected with some radiation. I think this is hardly a fair fight. But Mr. Apex, I must warn you. 
I've taken down much bigger than you before. Well, I haven't taken down an apex yet, but I've taken down some alligators. And alligators are a lot bigger than barracuda. No amount of radiation is going to help you now, sir. Or madam, because we don't discriminate. Oh, you're a little bit, you're a little bit trapped there, are ya? A little bit trapped? L let me help you with my teeth. For an ape. Oh, what? Now we've got hunters here as well? Look, guys. Guys up above. If you can give me one fucking minute here. The cameras are rolling underneath the ocean. Cameras are rolling down here. Well, looks like we're going to have to deal with two lots of imbeciles. But let's take out this goddamn predator first. Who, uh, for the most part, ladies and gentlemen, hasn't really showed nothing. That hurt a little bit. While most oh, that was tasty. A classic rock radio stable. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. You've got me down, down, down on my knees, Barracuda. Well, I'd be down on my knees if I had them, but I've got fins, so I'm down on my fins, Barracuda. At any rate, that apex. Like, just let's just say one thing here, dead horse. Like. Be proud that I'm now the apex around here because you've got someone who's going to defend this with a little bit more vigor. Time to go up here and see what we've got on the menu. Oh, we've got a tour boat? Don't mind if I do! Or should I say, don't mind if I chew, ladies and gentlemen. But we've got some urgent matters to attend to. Because I'm feeling a bit strange. Have specialized taste There's some changes going on deep within my so shark body. And I know I just mentioned I'm a teenage shark now and I've got fins growing in places I've never had fins before, but... It's it's stranger than that. It's a little weird. Oh, what do we have here? The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake. Only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. The definition of irony. Oh, there's an alligator hanging around outside near my new house. Who invited you? Even for sharks, it's important to create personal. But having eaten those hunters, I'm feeling a little strange. Maybe there's some changes coming on that I'm not aware of. Maybe some bone teeth. We can look straight up like Nigel Thornbury up in this bitch. That smashing poppet. Or we can go bioelectric. Think of this as your behind-the-scenes look of what goes down on Maneater, ladies and gentlemen. This is all the planning that goes into making our Shark Zero the beast that it is. I definitely think what we're going to do here is we're just going to start pumping some, uh... Start pumping some stats. And start getting those upgrades going. We want to be as hearty as possible. We want to get some upgrades going on our body. Even consider getting the teeth upgraded so the chompers burnt down with more force. We are a shark to be reckoned with. Ain't no stopping us now. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute! How did you get in the grotto? You think these alligators would have learnt? You mess with the shark, you get the teeth, bastard! Let that be a lesson to all you other gators out there that want to be rolling around. You too! To all the gators and barracudas that want to be coming up in my goddamn grotto, stay out of here, it's mine! But with that being said, our time together has come to a close. There's going to be plenty more human eating, plenty more gator getting, plenty more apex killing. Have a look down the throat of our shark Zira.